Well, as the illustration on the cover seeks to, to, to convey to people, um, our story is a story within a larger story of life on this planet. And life on this planet is, is a story within a larger story of life uh, of this planet's existence. And, and that story is a, is, is a story within a larger story of the story of the stars. And that story is the largest story within the largest story of the universe itself. So it's all about origin stories placed within origin stories. And our origin story is within that context. And understanding in that context helps us to understand our relationship to the rest of life on this planet and to the, and to the universe itself. And that's really the purpose of cosmic education to, to sort of situate ourselves uh, within the universe and within this planet uh, to, to understand how we relate to the rest of reality. Yes. Um, you know, think of a young child, they always saying, tell me a story, tell me a story. So the cosmic education is put in, in the form and in our book, and we do it in the classroom to tell stories, to tell facts and, and bring, we can do history and geography and the whole cosmic universe as a story. And that makes it come alive for children. That's how they connect. It's not, it's not something that they can't understand then. If you can put it in a story form, it can, it can be understandable to children. There's no, there's no direct with religion in the sense of organized religion um, necessarily, but there is a definite link with spirituality in the sense that there is a part of humanity or an aspect of humanity that goes beyond the merely physical. And that our consciousness and the way that humans are conscious uh, gives us a, a, a way of existence which, which goes beyond just the purely physical. And so we try to address that in cosmic education by showing uh, the progression of development throughout evolution. And that evolution takes place not just on this planet, but evolution has taken place since, since the first moments of the universe uh, with the Big Bang. There's a cosmic evolution that takes place. There's a geological evolution that takes place. And there's a, a biological evolution that takes place. And there's even an evolution within human society. Uh, obviously, human societies have developed throughout the ages in ways that, that reflect our, our human consciousness and our ability to communicate in symbolic ways through language, for example, um, that allows us to, to pass things along from generation to generation. Uh, that's a spiritual dimension of humanity. Um, that, doesn't, that doesn't really necessarily exist as far as we know in other species on this planet. Really, if, if you understand it in the sense that it's, it's, it's a story of, of how everything came to be. And that story is fairly simple. Uh, there's an awful lot of science behind it and there's a lot of very sophisticated science behind it, but it's not necessary to understand every detail of that scientific background to be able to understand the narrative of the story. The narrative of the story is something even small children can understand. So what, what, what our hope is when we teach this in our schools is that when children leave our schools, they have an overall sense of how the universe came to be, of how this planet came to be, of how life came to be, of how humans came to be and how our societies came to be. If they have an overall sense of that, they have a sense of reality that's much more sophisticated than many, many people in our society um, who haven't had that kind of education. They've, they've studied things in silos. There's a movement at the university level called big history, 
which is very, very similar to what we do in cosmic education. And big history attempts to, to, to examine the whole scope of history from the first moments of the universe itself. And, and that gives a context for understanding everything else, just the way cosmic education does for our young children. And so this, this is a, an idea that is spreading in universities. It's an idea that it's spreading in, in our educational world abroad, not just Montessori, um, in a way that, that it's important for us to understand the whole big picture and not just uh, to be able to do specific things and specialize and, and, and be specialist in one area. We need, we need to have some overall understanding of everything in order to situate what we do individually. And I, I think what comes to my mind, I'm thinking of that uh, Montessori said it's through the children that we will bring these changes about because they're, uh, you know, if we are teaching the children this from a very young age uh, to respect others, to um, recognize that they are part of this much greater whole universe, uh, then it changes not just the children, but it changes families. And then families change neighborhoods and neighborhoods change, you know, so it's mm -hmm. like a rock with the ripple in the water, it goes out. And we, you know, be, we've been doing this work for a long time. And so we've seen families where children come in very young. They stay with our program for 10 or 12 years. And we see that not only is that young person being changed, but the family is being changed because that young person goes home and talks to their family about what's going on. The family becomes a part of the community of the school. And so it, it ripples out that effect. We're primarily thinking about teachers. Um, we work in a training pro in, in several training programs where we teach adults how to become Montessori teachers. And so this was also an, uh, an effort to put this into context for them, to give them uh, the bigger picture um, in a written form that's different than they get in their training. Uh, it's, um, it was also written with the idea though for parents who want to know more about what is the monetary curriculum that my child is learning in, in school? <clears throat> so it also gives them an outline of what their child is learning as they go through the elementary program. Yeah, it's really, we, we feel like parent education is a very important part of what we do as Montessorians because our type of education is so different than traditional education. It's a totally different paradigm of education. And so this was, you know, like Daniel said, it's primarily written for, for the teachers to help them understand how to put everything together uh, and to understand how everything's connected with each other and how you can integrate the whole curriculum. But it's also available for, for, for parents who are interested in understanding a little bit deeper exactly the kind of education that their children are getting and the, and the content of that education. You know, when, when you think about it, human beings are an extraordinary species of organisms, living organisms in, in so many different ways. And yet we've only been around for, for a very, very short period of time compared to the life of the universe itself. And even compared to the life of this planet and even compared to the life of life on this planet. So we're, we're recent arrivals and, and it's imp important for us to recognize at the same time how, how unique we are, but also how much ancestry we have that goes way, 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 way back. Um, those two things at the same time keep us humble, but also recognize 
you know, our, our uniqueness and our importance. Um, and I think it's important for children to understand that, that, that um, the universe doesn't exist just for us. You know, we just, we just happen to be one little speck in the universe and we're just one little speck on this planet. Uh, it, it's not here just for us. And, and to recognize that is, is an important part of, of education. To, it's an important part of understanding ourselves as human beings. And, and I think that's the ultimate outcome that we want children to come out with, to, to, to recognize at the same time how special and unique we are on the one hand, but also how in some ways insignificant we are in the overall story of the universe. Um, if we can do those two things at the same time, um, I think we're the, we will accomplish what we're trying to accomplish with cosmic education. I think it, it makes me think of a jigsaw puzzle, right? Uh, we are a tiny piece in the big jigsaw puzzle and each piece is different and unique. And uh, yet we are just a tiny piece of that puzzle. But without us and without us doing our task, and our part of what, whatever we are meant to do on life, in life, the picture is not complete. 